you had to spend the night locked up in a haunted prison. Well, tonight we're doing just that. Oh my god. Something was just thrown at me. There's something like hiding in the darkness? Let's do a countdown. It's like something was channeling through my hand right now. Wait, did it happen again? Wait, what? I'm not going back in there. You okay? No. And they looked back in here, and the person that was sitting on that bench that entire time was not there. Dude, I wish I was recording that. Has that ever happened to you before? Are you freaking out? Mm -hmm. Like, I thought she was messing with us, because it was like three, two, and then it turned off. Yeah, me too. And I had my, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> and it turned off before she got to one, so. And it was one of those things when it happened, I tried to, in my mind, say that it didn't happen. And then it was like, yeah, but it did. You definitely look like you've seen a ghost mm -hmm. when it did happen. No, you were like freaked out. Yeah, she really was. I think you should be in there alone tonight. Oh, hell no. no. I'm not going to tonight. I got that on video. You I did? Was, I was recording, too. Were you? Yeah. Also, you should pay attention to when she was like three, two, because it shut off right at two. Hold on, let me cut yeah. this clip. Yeah. I thought she was fucking with us. No, I thought she was too. I totally thought she was messing with us. Yeah, no, she said that she was counting down, but it went before she went to one, before she finished the countdown. I felt something dark down there, like demonic in there. Not I mean, good. how would you feel if you were in there? I'd be pretty I would, angry. No, they yeah. put 12 people in a cell at one time. All right, well, okay, I got it. Huh. This video is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. So one of my favorite mobile games is taken over. Raid Shadow Legends is the first of its kind to introduce a true console level experience. There's just nothing like it that exists. When I'm trying to kill time or just have fun, this is my go-to game. A place where you can explore millions of champion combinations, take on player versus player arena matches, bosses, dungeon runs, and super fun campaign battles. 600 champions to choose from with unique skills that you can develop and up Great. You can build your own team and dominate your way. But my favorite three things is these badass champions. Number three, Brackus the Shifter, who comes from the Skinwalker faction. Number two, Sissy of Flame Tongue. Okay, I usually tell everybody, give me a kiss. But this is one badass that I would not say give me a kiss to, especially with that flame tongue. <laughs> Number one, most badass champion, Arkmach Helmut. I mean, how badass of a name is that in itself? This dude is like a Santa Claus wizard. Now, I've mentioned Raid Shadow Legends before in the past, but they keep one-upping themselves. So you may be asking, what is new, Omar? Well, I'ma tell ya. This month is awesome for Raid Shadow Legends. They just added a brand new faction, and there's all kinds of factions, but these guys are cool. The Sylvan Watchers. You have Forest Elves, Ents, Druids, phase and they're all waiting for you to summon them raid has a full lineup of events along with a brand new season of forge pass where you can take advantage of some of the most powerful gear that raid has ever seen are you an amazon prime member i am it's even better because you can get exclusive rewards right now if you've never played raid shadow legends you're missing out click the link in my description right now or you can scan my qr code here on the screen to get some super unique bonuses worth $30 for free. We're talking a free epic champion, Virgis, 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard. That way you can summon some awesome champions as soon as you get in game. All this treasure will be waiting for you right here. It's so easy. Now this reward is very limited. It's only available for the next 30 days and only available to brand new players. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you on Raid Shadow Legends. Thanks again Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. When you show them support, you're showing me support. And for that, I thank you. Let's get back to the video. Well, okay, I got it. Huh. Oh, it was oh on two. Yes. Could you imagine getting ready to turn a switch off and it turns off before you're finishing the countdown? I thought she was messing with us. Hardcore. She still kept counting after it. Wait, we definitely need to go on there. Yes. We will, we will. But not alone. I'll go alone. I'll go alone. <laughs> I'll go alone.
Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm a tour guide at Missouri State Penitentiary in Jefferson City, Missouri. Right now we're sitting in housing unit number four. We actually operated right here on this site for 168 years and when we closed our doors we were the longest continually operating penitentiary west of the Mississippi River. Took our first inmate in 1836, took our last inmate and shut our doors in 2004. Were men held in this cell block? Oh yes, this was a male housing unit. Yeah, all, all male. Mm -hmm. There's a man right there in the doorway. What's he doing? Really? Mm -hmm. He's kind of catcalling me. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, like, like that? So he's literally like hitting on me. Really hey, she's awesome. taken. Okay. On the end of these walks, here we have walks. Ours are called walks, not tiers, nothing like that. They're called walks. And at the very end, okay, down here, there's uh, uh, sinks and stuff like that. And on the corner, there's uh, uh, showers and stuff. And you'd have a lot of times, you'd have a, a female officer out walking or out working and stuff. You know, boys would be standing there and they'd be kind of uh, peeking around the corner at them and they'd be speed jacking. What does that mean? Speed jacking. You know, the thing about it is, they probably like him better than you two. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty boy. Yeah. 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 All right. I know Cameron is chomping at the bit to get downstairs, so. We'll get downstairs. Yeah. We need to get downstairs. Come on. Are we going to seize your basement? Yes, we are going to seize your basement. Don't okay. touch me. Like, I don't want to scream. I'm not going to. Who's first? Okay, I'll go. Are you first? <laughs> I'll do it. I go and just watch the steps. There you go. This is death row for yes, sure. It is. I don't like it though. Okay. So, this level, entire end to end of the housing unit is death row. So, death row over here on this side, death row over here on this side. And it does just make a U shaped pattern. So, either way you go in, you just ground and it comes right back to here. Okay, same thing over there. You go around and just either way, go this way, it comes back. You're always going to end up here if you keep walking. Nothing on this level for me to tell you to. Stay out of, even over there. Doors open, so if you want in there, you go ahead. Now we got one more level to go to, and it's below this one, so let's go this way. So you can see right here, death row walk, so the cells are down there, and it drifts all the way around, and it comes out right here. Go this way as well. Okay. I can't remember if she had the seizure right here or oh, no, it was, I remember it exactly. was downstairs. I'll show you exactly where it okay. was. Okay, please be very careful. Oh my gosh. Instant chills. Will you ever come down here like on your own? Myself. No? Nope, absolutely not. What happens if you do? It's just different down here, dude. They mess with you and they prey on your personal side, you know, really? how they are. Well, that's how they get to you. Make you feel safe and secure and that's not what's going on down here. It's just not. This is a different level. Oh, this is bad. Yes. I can tell this is going to be great. Well, we aren't even there. Did you get instant chills like I did as soon as you walked down here? I, something just feels not good down uh -huh. here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, so there's two doors to the same cell. Okay, yes, I'll tell you why. First thing I'm going to tell you is there you is a absolute no nauseous down here on this level. Okay? And it's the door that's right behind that one that's pushed back right here. Inevitably, it doesn't matter how many times we will tell a group, do not go in there. They'll do it every time, so don't go in there. There's only five of you all. It's going to be really good if you did it, okay? <laughs> but if you want to go in the shower, you can do that. Things happen in the shower area. So this is um, administrative segregation, is what this was called down here. Okay. So punishment. It's dark. Yeah, look, look behind you. Yeah, it's really Where dark. we came from. I could see your face. Oops. Now, imagine being down here with a flashlight. Gosh, yeah. What oh, happened? Yeah. You talk about panic. No thanks. Yes, happened to one of our uh, guides here. But I was down here about, you turn the lights back on. I was down right about here, about three weeks ago, a month ago, on a hunt. And we came down here, myself and an assistant, James Barker. And there was a group of maybe three or four people, you know, down here. And we just wandered down here. And we were all standing here, no lights were on. Um, I was running a phasma box. James was over here. Everybody else was over here. There was nobody behind me. And I mean, it was just, okay. I mean, I felt my shirt move and it was like, yeah, okay. 
I'm done, I'm out. I screamed and I stopped and I was like, yeah, okay. And there was nobody behind me at all. You heard that laugh just now? And I just tell you flat out, you'll hear them in one spot, they'll go look and then they'll be there. They're laughing, right? so what happened here? Yeah, I'm sure they are. You heard a laugh. I heard a laugh. She heard it. think it's funny? I was standing right down there one night when we were doing a tour. I was just walking in with a group, and it sounded like from down here, somebody took two or three quarters and just pitched them down the walk. And they, you know, were just bouncing. I mean, we all heard it. We all just stopped, and it was like, okay, did everybody just hear that? It sounded like coins being tossed down the walk from down here. Wouldn't they play like dice in prison and stuff oh, like I'm that? I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. Mm -hmm. Crops. Yep. Yeah. They made dice out of. They would take toilet paper, and just compact it and compact it and compact it, and then draw the eyes of the dice on it. Yeah, there's it's some over in the museum. Been in here so many times you can't keep track of when things happen, but I had one of those non-believers that night, guy, and they're always the guy, you know, okay, yeah, man. Right. And I, oh yeah, and so I was like, you go in there in the shower and sit down? He's like, sure, you know, and so he did. He went and he sat right there on that bench and I put a rim pod in that shower and that gun went off and that boy, I mean, he was up and out. He was like, oh, okay, you know, he's like, yeah, no, no. I have a video on my cell phone upstairs in the cashier of myself and Diane Kitchell and James Barker. They like James Barker. They like James. He's like you. He looks like he's like 15. You know, <laughs> for real. That's what they like in here. And we were down here, just the three of us, nobody else down here. And we had like a cat toy, a couple of K2s, I don't know, several things. I was sitting right over there on that step, those concrete steps right there. And I'm not kidding, I have almost a 10 minute video of us having a conversation with three different people, kicking those machines off, those pieces of equipment, answering our questions. They were definitely intelligent. At one point we were like, okay, you know, we've got to go. We've been down, you know, we've got to go. And I can remember I started to stand up and I mean, they all, st and I mean, I stopped, you know, like in mid stand, it was like, oh, okay, we, we, we can't stop. This is, and we literally, I videoed it for 10 solid minutes. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's, it's crazy down here. In this area. It's okay, turning yeah, off yeah. by itself. They, flashlights, especially on death row. I'll just tell you right now. When it keeps you're on turning death off? Row, huh? It keeps turning off by itself. Yes. I'm like just holding it straight. And then Isn't like, that what happened off. to that girl that was down here? Yes, and it happens it on death again. row too. My flashlight constantly gets messed with on death row. That's fine. I had a lady in here last week on a hunt, but she came in with some equipment. You know, she was ready to go. And she went into death row and she literally wasn't in there for like three minutes and she's like, all of my battery has been zapped. She said, it's gone. And I had full batteries and I said, yep, yeah, happens all the time. So. People are beaten to death, right? Oh, absolutely. Oh my God. But yeah, someone came to me and felt like I was, telling yeah. Tiffany it felt like my arm was being yeah. broken like right here I mm -hmm. felt it like I thought it hurt so bad I was like holding my arm in the showers terrible it? things happen yeah. in the showers right I just of felt one, my arm of one broken. thing or another yeah. yeah I was standing down there in that area doing a tour one night and had my back to the cells down there and a woman was standing next to me and full black shadow walked right out of the cell next to me on my right. And I mean, I just stopped and the lady went, Jenny? And I went, yeah. And she goes, did you see that? And I said, yes, I did. They're always doing stuff when I'm talking. Yeah. That's when they're, They're like, you know, they're talking Yes, with you. it's like, that's when they're interacting. So when, you know, I always tell my guests on my tour, so when I get you down and I'm telling everybody to be quiet, that's when they're making you look like a fool because they're not going to do anything. <laughs> it's just when you're just, no, I'm least expecting Yes, 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 yes. Okay, guys. You ready to roll? Who's here? Full chills. Can you turn it off? Can you make it go off? You should kill your light so you can see it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was hard right there. That would be hard. Show us what you can do with that. I was just standing talking to Kelsey, and then I looked down, and it was off. But we were I saw it freaking out. I literally had just stopped it. Well, another place that it does the, the flashlight thing is in the dungeon. You can lay your flashlights down on the ground in there, like just in the hallway, and I'm not kidding you. You can ask them to turn them on and off, yes or no. 
I have watched people down there do that before, and it's amazing. I mean, it's just like, oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> oh, you know? Yeah. You cannot deny what you're seeing. There's someone standing by you. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel them? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ask them to touch your flashlight. Catch it. Catch the flashlight. You're by it. Do you want me to lay the case? Oh, 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 Did you catch it? Got that one. He's right there. Can you turn it on now? I think it took a lot of energy for yeah. that to happen. Thank you for what you did. That was that, yeah. was, that was huge, great. dude. Huge. I feel like he's gonna do it again. I feel like he is. What if we like step over there and we leave it alone? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's try. Okay. Yeah. 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 What the hell was that? Yeah. That was like the window or something. Yeah, I think it was inside. Yeah, it's not like it was on that side. It's like some pebble or something. You know what it sounded like to me? Like somebody leaning up against the window. Window? Oh. Like if they were sitting like on oh. the ledge. Oh. Uh oh, look, look. Oh. It was dimming. Yeah, it was. Hey, so turn, turn your light off. Okay, look at the wall where the light is shining. You can really see it flicker. Do you prefer the darkness? Kelsey, ask a question. It likes you. Were you the person who touched Jenny? Can you please turn the flashlight off if you were? It's flickering so much. Oh, I heard yeah, something I heard over there. That. I don't think it's the same person that turned it off. Okay. I think they know if they turn it off, then so we're going to leave. <laughs> I think whatever touched it the first time had a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. Good energy. Yeah, he didn't seem negative. Mm -hmm. He was just here. Do you want to use my energy to turn the light off? I saw you standing behind Mackenzie. Were you the man who got beaten up? That was coming to me earlier. Dude, look at that flashlight. It's like flickering so bad. Yeah. Well, we're going to go and come back. Is that okay? It's almost completely out. Oh. You can't even see the light much. Yeah. It's like killing it little by little. Look, 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 look. It's almost off. Oh my God. Look, look, it's almost, it's almost completely like off now. Oh, it just turned, oh, it just turned off. off. Oh. Whoa. See, can you turn it on? Can you turn it back on now? I think it killed the flashlight. Here, turn it on, make like yourself and see if that is it. Oh, so it works. It's on. Yeah. Whoa. It shines bright. How could it turn off the like shadow that was doing that before? That's so weird. It was we using the that, energy. Right? It was really trying to do something. Wait, let me show the type of flashlight. Like, look at this. This is a regular flashlight. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, you didn't hit the button? No, there's no, no there's button there's on no it. Button. You have to literally twist. It's dead. It's dead now? But it was no, so it was, bright. It's not, it's not dead. It's not dead. It's de oh, it's what is dead. going on? <laughs> <laughs> You have to twist it to completely turn it on. Thank you. Was it down there now? Yeah, that's not true. What? Here, let's turn the turn batteries on. off. That's what I'm saying. What's wrong with it? That's weird. That's very normal. Very normal. Watch, I'm going to take it home. It's going to work completely normal. I've had quite a few experiences in here, and I'm going to tell you about one that 
probably is number two on my top five list. I was in here uh, doing a hunt. It was November of 2018, last hunt of the season. We were shutting down, so we had to make sure all guests were out, of course, as we always do. I was going down there into the dungeon, which is behind me, down some stairs, and it's in the basement of this housing unit, and it was the punishment system. The group that was in here with me, there were about 12 of us. Um, I knew everybody was up here on the main walk, because of course I had done a head count, and I already knew. But I had to go down and check. We're shutting down for the season, gotta make sure everybody's out. So a few of the guests that were with me said, can we come down with you? I said, sure. I said, but I'm just gonna go down the stairs and holler, and then we're gonna be done. So we are going down the stairs. I'm in front, they are behind me. We do have a police officer that comes in on site with us at night. And that night, um, it was Officer Fink. And as I'm going down the stairs, I got down about two thirds of the way. At the bottom of the stairs, to the right, standing in the corner, was Officer Fink. And I started to speak to him. And before I could even get words formed to come out of my mouth, he disappeared before my eyes. I actually stopped. It was a heart-stopping moment. Things happen here quite frequently, and I hope y'all get some really good things to tonight while you're here. What was it like being a correction officer here? This is the kind of job where you either like it or you don't. It's not cut out for everybody. I just happened to be one of them to where, after I figured out this is where I was wanting to be and accepted it, it ended up being okay, it ended up being a good job. The worst thing I witnessed was uh, we had a, a female officer over in the chapel. She went down to relieve a, a, another officer for, for dinner one night and uh, an inmate uh, um, tricked her off into a room. We used to carry these big mag flashlights, the multi-cell flashlights. He slipped it out of her uh, carrier and hit her in the head and uh, it split her head all the way open and she was laying on the floor in a big old puddle of blood and uh, it, it messed her up real bad. And uh, the reason it to me, it's, I say it's the worst thing, because it was one of us. And, and it was a female, and she was brand new. So where we are right now? This is like where the men were housed, and because the women housing was over the other way. So downstairs. Pretty creepy down there. We are above death row. So this is really like general population of like the men. So where I took you to, I mean, it's like I threw you to the wolves, was death row. Wait. Death row's downstairs. Oh, so I'm going to save the best for last. We're going to go down towards death row a little bit later. Right now we're in general population. I do have some of the lights turned on. That way you could kind of see how it is. I mean, get a good visual. It's still nighttime. It's still really late. I have not seen Kelsey, Mackenzie, or Cameron yet. We were hanging out with them a little bit earlier while we were getting the tour. And something crazy, insane happened down in death row. I'm going to wait till a little bit later to share that with you. We have not yet explored down here, at least tonight. We did come here in August of last year. Are you scared? Huh? No, I'm okay. Why I think you lights off? Where I was like, no, I mean, it's still very terrifying. Like, I got really, like, angry. You were angry. Like, I was really, like, annoyed and, like... I was about to give you a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they would usually bring the inmates in and check them in. Kind of looks that way. Right this way is where they used to house the women for many years. It's funny as while we were in here, just kind of getting started, Kelsey saw a woman at the end of the hallway and she asked one of the docents, is there a woman in here? And they were like, no. Just got a message from Kelsey and Mackenzie, and this is where they're hanging out right now. You can easily get lost here at Missouri State Penitentiary. Intensive Therapeutic Community Housing Unit. Oh my God, it's so scary in here. <laughs> That's what I jumped at yes. at first. Are you alone in here? Well, Mackenzie and Cameron are here too. They're on the other side, I think. Okay. What was that? It sounded like something dragging its feet right now. It was like a... Earlier I heard something. It sounded like something... <gasps> what was that? <gasps> that was a Mackenzie camera, was it? Where are they at? I have no idea. No, that sounded like it came from down there. That came from like downstairs where we just were. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh. Sound like something fell from the it. ceiling or something. Yo, what the Look. hell? No, no, literally. That. I heard it. It was like a I rock felt that it like it's Who's down there? What the f is that? Dude, what are all these noises going on? No, what the f was that noise? I don't know. I don't know. You caught it too though, right? It exploded next. I felt it like explode against the wall or something. It sounded like a freaking rock. It that, literally sounded like a rock. You know what it sounded like? A, like a piece of, like a chunk of rock came from the ceiling. But there's no rock on the ceiling. Yeah. What the f is that? Oh, oh sh it. It's okay, I don't know what the other noise is. Look. It's a, it's a pigeon. He's stuck up here. Aww. There's two pigeons. Okay. okay. I'm so confused. Dude, that sound was insane Dude, that with the bird. Bro. They had TVs in the shower. Look, see the TVs? You mean mirrors? <laughs> <laughs> they used to treat the women awesome in here. People think that like the women prisons are a piece of cake. Nah, they're pretty rough too. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? So it was these little pranksters. <laughs> you, you guys threw a rock or something? You might, you might have heard that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> you. Uh, I thought it over. Were y'all doing those banging sounds? Yeah. Wow. Dang it, yo, I was ready to run out of here for Literally. real. <laughs> we went up there and there was nothing there, and then we heard y'all coming around and we're like, okay, we should mess with them. We gotta mess with them just a little bit. It worked. Y'all y'all got us. I was freaked out. I was like, no way. You guys should have heard each other. You guys are like, oh my gosh, shoot. Like, it, that, was it was scary, but you know what got me the most was the, the, bird, the birds. The birds. Yeah. birds. Dude, yeah, there was a bird up there. They were flying noise past us and all we heard was <laughs> Alright, ladies. So y'all here. They're over here pranking us, so I say it's time for y'all to get them for us. Okay. That's good. I wonder if they'll come because we're all together or if they'll avoid us because we're all together. We just did an amazing spirit box session in one of these cells. You're gonna have to make your way to Mackenzie or Kelsey's video to check it out, it's amazing. Something was telling us to go to the other side of the woman's cell block. Whoa. What the heck's down there? Right here. It's a great spot. Wait, up here? It's like a hot spot no, it's here. It's like right here in this area. Oh, I thought she was going to use like the last one right here or something. Wait, this is where we just were, right? On the other side. I'm so discombobulated. I thought she said it was like cell number. Was it here? This one? Oh, it was one of these cells. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It was the, these two. Oh, yeah, these are the two active ones. Yeah. I mean, technically this is pretty artistic. There's like a million coats of paint. Green, pink, peach, white. So remember that thing was saying artist? I oh. see some art right here. Oh, wait, That's what does this say? Yeah, it's an old mural. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, then we're in the right area. Yeah, so the spirit dice game we were playing, it said something towards the end about artist. Well, the flashlight was going off like, it was flashing, our flashlight was going off. Really? Yeah, I know. I just was like. Boop, boop, boop. Kelsey, Ooh. Kelsey said that too. She was just like sitting in there. She's like, I'm so mad right now. You are so mad. mad. Dude, I got angry. Like I needed a Snickers. <laughs> like, I was literally, I was so annoyed. No, I was getting angry. Like, I just kept, there was a man there that was just so angry. Kelsey. Okay, you know how there's the Estes method? Yeah. What if we did something different? where instead of having a spirit box like speak to you you're actually channeling the energy from in here in complete Whatever silence to me. You're right 
I don't mean what? to interrupt you. Your camera went up 15%. In I don't battery. know how. Wait, it you went, just said over there it was at like 30% or something? It was something? like 31, 32. That's at 43. at 43. It was just at 44. Whoa, like it went up in energy. It went up in yeah. charge. Something was trying. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> that too whatever you were just so, talking about yeah maybe they were so what if we went on the other side over there we ask questions in silence and you just randomly like you close off yourself to I'll the world to like trying to trying to tap into the energy <gasps> yes. yes oh it's like in that it wants you to do that something oh, wants Kelsey I'm and you to just say <laughs> say whatever words come to your mind that it's coming okay. through the, the building itself but you have to yell it you're gonna yell and we're gonna ask questions where you cannot hear us at all we're yeah. calling this the Kelsey, the Kelsey, Kelsey method. The Kelsey method. <laughs> the Omar method. Because Omar came up with that. What's this town called? Jefferson City. We'll call it the Jefferson method. Oh, there you go. I like that. Or, or the misery. The, the green light mis method. Oh, the green oh, light the method. Green light method. Are you like that? Yeah, All right. Of course the lady with the green hair is going to like yeah, that. Green light method. We're going to have to make sure that we can hear her screaming, though, and that it gets oh, picked yeah. up on camera. Oh, there you go. You got earphones? Yeah, just okay. so it cancels out the noise. Nothing's like on it. All right, guys, we're about to do the green light method. The oh, look at the ball. Oh, oh. Dude. They're ready, guys. They're Dude, ready. I'm telling you, they're going to love this method. Okay. Like, this is going to be amazing. Like, we've Ooh. never, never done it's anything like this before. Right. <laughs> Especially with a medium. Like, I'm this is so awesome. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Kelsey, can you hear us? Kelsey. All right, go ahead and start, okay? Okay. All right, here you go. Is there anyone here with us right now? Angel. <gasps> Angel. Angel. Can you tell us why you were inside of this prison? Try me. Try me? Try me? Is that what she said? Maybe she said that to someone, like another inmate. Was like... Can you tell us why you were incarcerated? Backwards. Backwards. Wait, Kelsey's, Kelsey's Were you back in is cell? to one of the cells. Were you in the cell? Yeah. Is Kelsey's Janice. back? Janine. What did she say? I don't know. Because her back's to one of the cells. Oh, okay. Are you next to Kelsey? Hey. 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 Oh, it is right next to Kelsey. Yeah. You're not going to hurt her friend Kelsey, are you? Bed sheets. Bed sheets. Bed sheets. Did she hang herself with bed sheets? Did you hang yourself with bed sheets? They found me. <gasps> they found me. Oh my gosh. That's exactly. The prison guards. They oh, found the prison me. guards. Oh they found me. Oh my god. Did you kill yourself or somebody did it? Yes. That's yes. Wait, wait. Did, did you decide to take your own life? She made me miserable. They made me miserable. She took her own life. She was bullied. I wanted to fight. Is Kelsey in any danger? Let go. Let go. Let go. What did you let go of? Cut. Trust? Is that what she's saying? Say tell. cut. Cut or something. I couldn't quite hear. Yeah, I couldn't hear what she was saying. Did you decide that you didn't want to take your life, but you couldn't? Cold. Cold? Are you in heaven or hell? You don't have to answer that question. I wonder why they were inside this prison. Like, what did they do? Stuff? What? what kind of stuff did you do to end up in this prison? Help! What did you do to end up in this prison? Dead. Died dead. Killed somebody. Killed somebody. I died here. I, I died here. Angel. That's so sad. There's someone else. There's someone else. So who else? So who else we're talking to? Who else? else? She got sick. She got sick. She got sick. Her oh. Wait, do you think maybe the reason why she was in jail? They shit? wouldn't help her. They oh. wouldn't help her. She oh. got sick. Like the CEOs wouldn't help her? Oh. I wonder if she maybe committed suicide because her cellmate wasn't there to help her anymore. Maybe that was like her. Behind you. Behind, Behind you. Did she just say Kenzie? Kenzie? I thought she said Kenzie. 
Where? Or that's like this close, this close, this close, this close. close. Number nine. Oh, Where's number nine? <gasps> oh, what the f? What the f? Bro. What the f? How does she know? How does she f know? Bro. Look, Kelsey did not see what we said. We could be in we any told part her. of this. No, we You're told there. Her. They're there. They're there. We told her we were just going right here around the corner. We didn't tell her number nine, though. I know. We told her we were going around the corner. We didn't even tell her we were coming she all over here. She doesn't even know what cell she's no, by. No, no. Number nine could be over there. She has no clue. Bro, she what is the... What are the... What? did she say number ten? My cellmate. She was my friend. Ten. Bro. Ten. She was in here. Dude. Oh, my God, dude. I got that, goosebumps that's so bad. That's fucking crazy. I got goosebumps so bad. What happened in cell number 10? In there. In what there? happened? Maybe we should go inside. Do I go in here? Yeah, we should go in here. She died. She died. She died. Here. She died in here. I took oh, her so my, my life. life. That's what we think. Someone took her life. I she took her. her life because she died. Oh my god. Dude, that's terrifying. Soulmates. That's so sad. Soulmates. They, oh, they were, were in love. love. They were in love. They were lovers. So. Stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. Is there anything else you want us to know? Still here. Bro. You're still here? Still here. Are you enjoying our company? 47. Maybe that's Maybe. how old they were. Yeah. Were you 47 years old? 10 years. 10 huh? years. Were they 10 years apart? We're 10 years together. 10 years together. Or were they in here for 10 years? Yeah, it could be so many different things. My ex-husband, I hurt him. My husband, I hurt him. By falling in love with a female? Oh, that's good, that's good. Or did she hurt her husband and that's why she ended up in prison? Wait, what did you just say? He tried to leave? The fuck does that? I don't know. Is that by Kelsey? That was by Kelsey. That was. My son. Where's the light? Where's the light? Stay where you are. <gasps> what the fuck? Wait, what the hell? She said, "Stay where you are." Okay, sit. Don't turn around. Yeah. Just don't turn around. But yeah, don't turn around. Find him. Find him. My son, find him. <gasps> oh my god. The one in the back. Her. Her? Huh? her. Is that you, Jimmy? She can find him. How? There's something that is wanting to connect with you. You can leave. Maybe some things want to connect with Jenny. You were standing in front of number nine, weren't you? Dude, you were. she yeah. literally told her. I knew exactly where you were, but she said it. But the thing is, is we walked around the corner. We didn't tell her where we were going. Okay. And it said number nine. Yeah, and y'all were right in front of Well, we heard you outside a while ago. When this is so were... crazy. Yeah, I told you, people do not give this building so, enough supposedly, credit. What is she saying? There was a woman that tell. killed herself at number nine. And her friend was in number ten. Wait, is that a real story? I told you that cell number 10 has been very active for us. Oh, and I didn't know that. It has been for several years. Oh, I, yeah. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We Wait, what is she was, saying? I don't know if we got anything. Yeah. I feel like I was, like, channeling someone at one point. I, like, was not... That was so weird. Oh, Kelsey! Kelsey! You literally have no freaking idea. Wait, they're what? freaking out. Dude, what happened? No we idea. went we went way down there and you were like behind you, number nine. We turned around, we were standing in cell block number nine. Yo, <laughs> that one, I felt like I was channeling someone. Dude, you like, were channeling you were, something. You were. That was better than any Estes method that I've ever been a part of. Like, that was, that was the most that was the craziest thing. Really? You were answering all of our Shit. questions. Are you serious? Dead ass. Yes. No way. Yeah. Like we, we were perfectly. Whispering. No like, way. Whispering. 
<laughs> you couldn't hear us, right? I no, no. You no. can put these on and like whisper over there. Even with no head, even with no head. Look, 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 look. That's that thing off. kept going off too. No, there was a woman here, and she was like, I think she was channeling. We were no lie in front of room number nine when you said nine. And then you're like, go inside. So we go inside and you said, I died in here. Yeah, and then you were like, and then we start running to come get you and you were like, stay put. And we all just yeah, stopped. Yeah, we were like, hey, we're coming, so we start like running and you're like, stay where you are. Look, and then you said the woman in the back, she came upstairs to get us to take us to the gas chamber. Her in the back and I had just walked up and was standing oh in the corner. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it definitely insane. knew it was I me. I never, like, that was weird because I was... And really you didn't even know I was in here. No. no. I never even no, stepped I down that. I really cool with that green light. Yeah. Dude, that oh was freaking God. cool. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Holy... I, I think that was, like, the best Estes method ever, ever. I cannot hear you guys. Yeah. I swear on... I swear no, we were on. talking too quiet. There's no way you would have heard no, us anyway. I could even not if you took the headphones And I Yeah. Yeah, we thought you heard us freaking out though, because when you said behind you, we all turned around and right behind me, you were like number nine, and we were like, what the? F Dude, <laughs> I knew it as soon as she said. I was like, they're standing right there by yeah. number nine. <laughs> because we were all the way down at that end. We weren't she even was right here. Telling me this whole story, like her cellmate got sick and like she fell in love with her and she died and then she hung herself. Like it was really yeah. yeah, we all figured that out as you were going along. You were like bed sheets and we were like, yeah, like she hung herself sheets. with the bed sheets. Yeah. There were a lot of people were. that died of illness. I mean, you yeah. know, disease ran rampant in here. It was just bad. And the CEOs couldn't do much about nope. it. Nope. One of the angles that Tiffany mentioned too is the possibility that since she fell in love with the other cellmate that that's how that's how it hurt her husband because well, he said it hurt my husband I so i don't know it could be yeah. it could be either one of those that we awesome. were legit in front no. of so nine. that was we insane like, it would usually put about 12 people in one of these tiny cells and you didn't get a toilet you got this little bucket and i kind of envisioned like just all these guys in there and this one guy like going to town in this bucket like pretty gross so the last time that tiffany and i were here at the missouri state penitentiary we didn't get to explore this building because a tornado had just ripped through here and there's actual pictures of what happened and it wasn't safe to come in here a year ago when we came. Now, it took $800,000 to repair the roof. That's insane. I mean, that's like what beautiful homes are going for like in nice areas. So um, yeah, just for the roof. So hey, what a treat that we actually get to explore this part. We were here a little bit earlier. I had something really interesting happen down in the lower floors. Let's go check it out and we'll tell you more. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, look, a shoe shine area. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that area for that, which is kind of odd because it's not like they have their shoe shine in prison, but these are old barber chairs. Barber chairs. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, look, look how small these cells are. Could you imagine? I mean, first of all, you got bunk beds in there, probably three on each side. And you got all these men in there, like six to, they said like 12 at four times. Mm -hmm. And let me add that there is no air conditioning here at the Missouri State Penitentiary. And it gets sometimes 100, what the fuck is that? Oh my God, oh, I thought God. it was like something floating in the air. Yeah, it gets it gets really hot here, even in the fall, like right Look now. At, wait, what? There's no electricity in here, right? I mean, there's electricity just hooked up to those light bulbs. That light is on. That light is on. Look at that. Wait, how is that possible? There's no working electricity in here. The only thing that they have in here that works is these lights. Right. Nothing. Nothing else works up there. What is up with that? I don't know. I'm gonna take a picture of that and I'm gonna show it to Jenny. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. You know, it was spooky down here with like six of us. Now it's only two of us. So Jenny, the docent, oh my God, this is the dungeon. As we're getting ready to leave, she does a countdown to turn that switch off just to show us how dark and intensely dark it gets down here. When she does that, she does a count from one to three and at two, the lights go off. We didn't think anything of it. We just thought maybe she was messing with us. And you know how your dad is when he gets ready to throw you in the pool and he counts to three, but then just kind of throws you in at two. Well, that happened, but 
it wasn't her intention. So what happened? Uh, it's like she got ready. I mean, look at the switch right here. So she had her hand like this, right? And she was gonna put it down when she counted. She said she felt it go down. In her hand. In her hand. And she was like, did that just happen? And she said up there when we, like when you got done interviewing her, she said tonight was the scariest thing that happened to her down here since 2017 or 18 or something. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Let's give it a shot. I think it likes the countdown. One, two, It didn't work for me. That's good. Let's do a countdown. Did that just shock you? I think I got that on camera. <laughs> I didn't feel the shock. It literally looked like it shocked you. But the hairs on my middle finger were like standing up. It was like some static electricity. Like I definitely, I could definitely feel some energy. It's like something was channeling through my hand right now. Put your hand on it. Okay, let Put me Put your just, hand on it. I ain't dumb. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Never been one to just do what I'm, no. Wanna see how funny this looks? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck happened right now? What the hell happened? We're good. We're good. Wait, did it happen again? We're good. Wait, what? I'm not going back in there. What are you I know talking about? you have to have my hair being dude. <laughs> I'm not. I'm good. I am so good. Okay, let's not touch me. Thanks. I literally heard my hair yank. Like I heard it. Maybe it has something to do with the electricity in here. I'm not yeah. These old buildings aren't grounded very well, so it's you know I almost it's... want you to play the footage back. I'm I want you to play the footage back. We're gonna play the footage back. I guess here, but not to her, because she'll freak out and she'll run out of here. And I need you tonight. I can't be by myself tonight. Come on, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be up. Just close the door. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light off. Is that okay? Can you not? One, two. Why do you keep messing with that? You okay? No. A little bit earlier when we were down here, something growled in Tiffany's ear. She told me off camera. Is it okay if I show this to I want to do it after we get out of here. Do what? Tell you about it. Well, no, because what if it happens again? Where did it happen? Where did it happen? Right where you're at. Right here? Yeah. You Can know you what the problem with you is? Is that you put me in this like bad energy type of situation and then you bring me into these places and then I'm not like feeling vibey which isn't really the best thing to do to me. So. Can you come growling Can you my not? fiance's ear again? <laughs> you don't want to be by yourself? Homie, you're about to be left by yourself. I'm okay being by myself. Yeah. This place is terrifying. Do people like just come in here and sit in the dark? Boring. I have this device right here. It's a homemade REM pod made by my friend Paranormal Patrick. See? So you have to be in range to make it go off. Where do you want me to put it? Your choice. Right here. Right here. Let's do a test. Whoa! It works. Whoa! Oh, my flashlight just started going crazy. I didn't even do that. Do you like Tiffany? Come touch the REM pod if you do. Got the couch tonight. Whoa. What? What's the matter? This whole is there air somewhere? I did feel some air coming from down there. No, like up here. Up? Yeah. Top? No. It literally Something's messing with you in there. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna need you to like. Back hey, let's away let's from stand me. over here. Let's stand over here. We're gonna walk over here. If you wanna make that REM pod go off. Make it go off. So you heard a growl, like in your ear? Ooh, what's in here? This is solitary confinement. No windows, just pure darkness. People tortured down here. People were starving down here, didn't get fed. And they didn't even get bathrooms. So you could imagine how bad it probably smelled in this entire lower floor. So like somebody just 
sit over here in a chair like by themselves. Huh. I don't see that being much. <gasps> I'm not going. You go that way. I'm not going. What? It sounds like talking. Can you do that again? Did you just use all your energy? It literally sounded like men talking. Where? It was like distant. It was like men talking. But you heard that go off, yes, right? Yes, I heard it. And then you heard men talking? And then it sounded like men talking. Wait, maybe is Kelsey down here? No, men talking. Well, Cameron's with them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just get the shit out of me. No, it wasn't Cameron. No, it sounded like multiple men, like just having a conversation. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Thank you for hanging out with us for a little bit. I'm going to turn the light off now. Three, two, one. All right, you didn't do it that time, but it's all good. I feel like something's messing with you in there. There's something like hiding in the darkness. Go ahead. Go in there. I am not like a volunteer. I've never signed up to be a volunteer. Like this is not the PTA. And I'm not about to be a volunteer to just like. They like you. No. They really like you. You don't want to talk about what happened? Look, I might do it later. I'm just not doing it right now. All right, all right, that's fine. All right, go ahead. Go, 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 go. What? What? All right. Go ahead. I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. I promise. I'm gonna go check and see what's in here. It's bothering you. Very important to take pictures every once in a while. Tiffany went walking up the stairs right now. I guess something really terrifying happened to her down there. And that's why she was a little reluctant into going there in the first place. I still don't know exactly what happened to her, but maybe I could get out of her later. You know those alone videos that I did a while back? I don't think that's a place that I'd want to go in alone. Yeah, I don't know. Hey babe, would you ever go down there alone? <laughs> Yeah? You would? Oh man, it's so cool Look, up here. I do this stuff for you. Okay? It's all love. If I'm gonna go somewhere alone, it's gonna be like, you know, to the library or I don't know, to the movies. One thing I will say that's really cool about going to the movies alone, you can really get into a movie when you're there all by yourself. I saw the movie Frequency all by myself and I was a teenager at the time. It was awesome. So good. Ooh. We should play musical chairs with all of these chairs. The now, there's a really cool story that I didn't even know because I didn't get to visit this cell block the last time. Now, for some of you guys that love boxing, I love boxing myself. This gentleman right here is Sonny Liston, and he was here at the Missouri State Penitentiary. I did not know that. Now, one of the reasons why this is an amazing story is because he lived a pretty messed up life in the 1950s. His life was so messed up that it would annoy him to hear the prisoners complaining about the living conditions and the Missouri State Penitentiary was pure hell. For him, he looked at, he had clothes on his back, he had shoes on his feet, he had three meals a day, three hot meals a day, and a place to sleep. And he never had that in his early childhood. And that was something that wasn't easy for him. And he also said that this was a place that he felt loved. So he learned how to box here. He too, learned right? how to box. He learned how to read. He considered this his home. He was a world champion. Yeah. And then when he went out on the streets, what was it? He um, he ended up coming back here in one night. He knocked out. What was it? Six, six people? inmates. It was six an exhibition. Yeah. yeah. Sonny Liston really loved this place. So, I mean, that much so that he came here and he was like, hey, get the six biggest dudes you have that think that they can knock me out. He not in one night, six guys. Now, if you don't know who Sonny Liston is, I'm gonna refresh your memory. This is his cell. Not sure if it has any haunted history. Maybe we'll find out. But you know that iconic Muhammad Ali picture that we have all seen before? Well, that's Sonny Liston laying on the ground. There he goes right there, first minute, first round. And there was a lot of controversy 
surrounding that, saying that he was paid off. I mean, I don't know. It could could be. I have heard some stories of boxing being set up. I like to think not. It's just something that I heard. I'm not saying it happened, but it's a possibility. Anything's possible. But that's Sonny Liston. And this was his home for a long time in his early years, and he appreciated it. Think about how humble he made others feel around him, too. Could you imagine being here? Like, if I was here, I'd be complaining every day. Imagine hearing a guy that didn't have this luxury of having a you know roof over his head or shoes on his feet and being grateful. To the point where he was like arguing with other inmates, telling them like, you know, this is good. You have clothes, you have food, you have three hots and a cot, like be grateful. Hey, there's always someone out there that has it worse than you. Something that you gotta remember. Hopefully that resonates with some of you out there. So Tiffany caught something pretty amazing here. So you know I always take pictures anytime we go anywhere and I go through them. I don't know if that is anything, but it looks pretty sketch to me. <laughs> Dude, it looks like a face looking yeah. down. You can see the nose and the eyes. Yeah, it looks pretty scary. And then down there, I don't know what that is either, but it almost looks like the scream guy. But that right there, that's pretty. Wait, where did you catch that? It was over here. I was just taking pictures. Whoa. And then I zoomed in and seen that. It's pretty scary. Yo, it is dark out here. Oh, it feels so good. It feels really good. Oh, man. Now, when the winter would come, they did have heat, but it's like the lower floors, the guys were freezing. The upper floors, the guys were like really hot. And the middle people were probably just right, but yeah, the heat wasn't very, I don't know, uniform. So, you know how I told you I heard like men in there talking? Yeah. First of all, we only have one other man with us, which is Cameron. But look, if you look, oh wait, where do they go? I just seen their lights. You think that's where Cameron and Kelsey and Mackenzie are? Yeah, well, I'm over there. Oh yeah, see them? I can see them all the way up there on the top floor. Oh yeah, look, you can see, you the, can see their lights. You see the flashlights. Super dark. Can I tell them what happened? Yeah, I, you weren't gonna tell me what happened. Okay. So you're, you're, you're gonna finally tell us what well, happened. Well, yeah, because I'm not over there now. I'm in a completely different building. Okay, what So, well, remember when we went in there with Jenny, the, the lady? Mm -hmm. So, I didn't say anything because I was like, I am not even about to give any of this any attention. So y'all walked with Jenny around the corner and you were in that back cell all by yourself, mm -hmm. remember? Well, I didn't want to leave you by yourself, so I'm just standing in that little, right here. And that room was right here. Remember how she said that the room that you were in, mm -hmm. you hear growls? Yeah. I swear on my life, I'm standing there just like watching Kelsey, like waiting for her to come. I turned this way, looked to make sure like they went around the corner. I look back at Kelsey, I literally felt the vibration in my ear from that room and it went, we, we heard that, remember? Yeah, and when I did that, that, before we were recording, and like walked. I was like, yeah. And I just left you, my bad, but no, like we you literally were fine. heard that when we walked. <laughs> we weren't even recording. We walked into the room and we, it, it was weird. We all felt like, it. It's like we felt this vibration. It was, and yeah. it, what, what did you Some say? Some type of reverberation. Yeah, or reverber something like that. Like the whole reverber. See, so I'm not freaking crazy. When I heard that, like, bro, I was just like, I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. So is that why you were really uncomfortable, like, down there? That's why I didn't want to say it. That's why, like, you kept telling me, you're like, what happened when you're down here? And I'm like, I'm not gonna f tell you. And then you stop in front of that door and you're like, so what happened? And I'm looking at the door like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, the same thing happened to me with the light. I put my hand, like, right over the light and it turned off. And I, didn't, I did not touch it. And you hear it, like, shocked him. Maybe there's something with the electricity there. It's not grounded or something. I don't know too much about electricity, but there's know. something weird with it. Yeah, that's yeah. so Let's weird. just say it was the electricity. Yeah, yeah, that's, cool that's, yeah. that's what I'm trying to I'm totally cool with that. convince myself to think. Yeah. Well, percent, it was just the electricity. Yeah. I'm down with that. It's scientific proof that it was the electricity. There, yeah. We're going right now to probably one of my favorite places in the Missouri State Penitentiary. The gas chamber. It's right over there. Oh, I did not know that. Is that why this is here? Yeah. So this is their very last steps they would take right here. Oh gosh. Yeah. We're walking. Yeah. Wilbur Johnson. <gasps> what? Well, that was really Burger. close. And then here is Willie Porter, but that's here's a Wilburn Johnson. Wilburn Johnson. Cool. I'm not the best with names yet. I'm still practicing my mediumship. I'm still 
you know, I, I consider myself like an intermediate medium. The so interesting thing is, okay, what two names did you say up there? Wilbur and, and Jackson. Jackson. So you got Jackson over here and you got Wilbur right there. So maybe it was giving you two different maybe individuals. Maybe I was getting you oh, sorry. sorry. Yes, no, that's not. Yeah. Well, you're way up there. They both had murder. I knew I had seen Wilbur oh. down here. I knew it. So this Jim, guy kind of looks like the one I was seeing. This one. Uh, and his name's Wilbur. Wilbur. There's a Willie right here. Oh. Oh, okay, this is my second time ever coming in here. And the reason why I wanted to come in here, you can see there goes Kelsey on that side. Hey, Kelsey. Well, last time I was here, I kind of shared how there was a sense of peacefulness inside of the viewing area. Now, if you didn't know, and whenever they put inmates to death, there's usually like a viewing area and this is this is the gas chamber the whole gas chamber death penalty thing like it wasn't an easy death they're suffering in there like it's like the, their insides are on fire from what i've been told and they're choking it's a terrible death but when you go over there there's definitely a sense of heaviness wondering what kelsey feels oh look at cameron you're so brave you're actually sitting where so many people were put to death let's go over there are you guys talking to Bonnie? She said Bonnie. 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 Is it Bonnie? Yeah. 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 Bonnie and Carl. Terrible people right there. Last meal was in this cell right here. Okay, this is just me. And uh, maybe you could kind of resonate with this, but like when I look at this. Maybe you can feel it out. Do you feel like there may be, because these are all inmates that were put to death here in the gas chamber. Right. And some of them probably deserve their fate. But is there somebody here where you feel like they were innocent? I do. I feel it too. I, I feel, feel it like too. he was innocent. I don't know, he just looks really sad, doesn't he? There's a really young man in this, pic in this picture this too. Yeah. Yep. 22 year old. He was only 20 in his early 20s. I feel like they were innocent people. You can kind of tell by their faces too, you know? Was anyone on this who was killed here, were any of you innocent? Did say no? Yes. Was there anyone who was innocent and falsely accused? I heard Leo yes. a lot. I heard Leo. I thought, like Leo. Leo. Uh, what was he for? Murder, first degree murder. Accused Bro, look at this. This guy was put to death for rape. Yeah, a lot. Of them were. And now, like, people get away with rape all the time. And it's so messy. Well, here's here's one of the things that I kind of came up with. Some of these men sometimes would get accused of being raped, probably because of their race. They were hated, really sad, and they were like, you know, hey, this is the way we get rid of them. Yeah. You know, oh, he raped me and messed up. They would take a white woman's word for it back then, for right. sure, you know, without any proof. And a lot of them are black too. Mostly murdered, but look, that one's raped. Somebody raped my daughter. They gonna die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how do you feel in here? Justified, honestly, kind of what you were saying, you know, like I do feel I feel like some peace. I feel really sad, but I feel very like I don't know if it's peace is the best word Because like I don't think I don't know It's just hard to watch someone die and feel peaceful after unless like they really really did something bad I just see someone like this like with tears in their eyes right. like I mean, it's not going to bring back their loved one. Right, exactly. Like, it won't bring peace, but it definitely will help bring, you know. Justice. Yeah, justice. Well, it's a different vibe feel, in here. Yeah, I do feel a lot of sadness and, like, hurt and pain. Yeah. And watching someone go, you know, it's probably hard to see. Even if they did something horrible, it is probably something hard to watch. Like, another human go, but it's like, okay, this needs to be done.